Good morning, DK2371. Thank you for joining me this morning. Well, as you can see, I've got some books and today's organizing purging tips is about the books that we hold on to. Good morning, Lynn, that we seem to never get rid of. So today I'm going to just give you a quick tip on how you can organize your bookshelf. So I'm going to turn this camera around, be able to thank you so much for the heart slam. So as you can see, I am in front of my bookcase. And first, let me talk about the purging. The purging process can sometimes be a little hard, especially when it comes to books, because we become attached to them. But today, and as you move in through the summer months with your summer readings, I really want you to think about all the books that you have that you have never touched. And I mean, there were several in my own collection. Um, they were even given to me. I either picked them up somewhere and I'm even talking about those pamphlets. And it's time to just purge them and let them go because somebody else could benefit from that information. I mean, I've had so many books on money management, but really one book has really helped me. So therefore I decided to get rid of the other ones and they could probably help someone else. And of course, where I live, there's a nice little area where if you want to get rid of your books, you can just um, place them there and somebody will pick them up who's interested. So that's a really great way of just not throwing the book out. But also, as I shared on my Instagram page and my Twitter feed, is that um, the UPS store is looking for gently used and new children's books. So for your children who are older and you don't need those books that they read when they were younger, that's a great place to get rid of books. But just to give you a quick little tour of my bookcase behind me, as you can see, that's a basket. And in that basket are some CDs, DVDs that I wanna hold on to. So I put them in that basket so it looks nice and organized. And then as you can see behind me, I organize my books by subject, which makes it so much easier for me to find them. And basically, as you can see, those are all of my organizing books. And then over here, as you can see, magazine boxes. And you can see I have some magazines that I like to keep um, in those boxes. And actually what I do is I categorize them. So some are just home, some are really organizing project products, and then some are just personal things that I like to keep, catalogs, etc. So my purging tip for you today is one, donate the books that you have had on your bookshelf that are collecting dust for five, 10 years that you know you will not keep the ones you want to keep and treasure. As you can see, I'm not sure if you can see that, but that is a book Emily Post that my mom had, and I treasure that book. So for the ones you want to keep, categorize them so that you can find them. You can categorize them by subject, by author, etc. So, and then of course, for the other shelves, just use different types of organizing products to keep those things you want on shelves organized. So I thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to visit me on my website at JanetMTaylor.com. So until next time, I want you to have a clutter-free day and an organized week. Thank you.